Hello. So following up on the topic of Action Mailer and sending outbound emails from your Rails application. Basically, previously in the other videos, we went through the topics of sending and testing our Rails emails in development. But what if we have a production, a real running application, and we want to send emails to our users? Well, we need to define a strategy for this. And now we'll go through how we can use our Gmail account to send emails from our Rails application. So basically, here's an example case. A user has forgotten his password and he needs to enter his email to get reset password instructions. And at the moment they get sent, let's see where they're in our development environment, they can send just to delivery method letter opener. So they are just saved in your local storage or nowhere if you don't have letter opener configured. And uh, we want to actually send and deliver our emails. Now we will try to add the Gmail for sending emails from inside our development environment. So if we go to Action Mailer, we will see this other setting, uh, configuration for Gmail. So we can just copy it and try to send the Gmails from our Rails application. So in development RB, I would add something like this, config Action Mailer, delivery method SMTP, then here we would need our domain. So it could be your production domain, or in my case, it can be the development domain, this one. So I would add it here. Then the username can be your real Gmail address. I would add something like this and password. Now you cannot use your real Gmail password here because it will not work. You need to create an application password. Now I will show you what it is. Basically, you go to a Gmail account and here you go to manage your Google account and you will get this security. So you go to security and here you have this signing in to Google. First, you have the password, then two-step verification. And only if you have two-step verification on, you will have this other option for app passwords. So now we will create a password just for this app. So, okay, I will confirm my password. Yeah, I have to wait for Google to authenticate me. Okay, and it brought me to this app passwords page. Now I can select an app, well, let it be mail, doesn't matter much. I will select device, I can just say Rails app, and I will say generate. And here I was given a password. Now you can see it, but obviously after the video, I will delete it. So I copy it, I say done, and I will add this password in the password field right here. Okay. And now I can uh, try to send an email. First, I will, oh, actually there are some more settings I need to change. So here we have delivery method, less the opener. It should be removed if we are in the development environment and we have it as SMTP. And also another the good thing to do is raise delivery errors, true. So we will get errors if a delivery of an email is uh, failing. Okay, so now let's try to start our server once again and see if it works. Okay, I will uh, refresh and try to press forgot your password. And now I expect an email to be actually sent and delivered. So let's go. And yeah, so now I just now received this uh, reset password instruction. So I can go to change my password and you see it is working. So basically we managed to send uh, an email using Gmail in our development environment. And obviously you will definitely want to replicate it in the production environment. So let's go back and I'm going to remove this all from our development environment. And I'm going to set it once again to letter opener in development and go into production. First of all, we're going to do something like this. So config action mailer default URL options to be the host of your application. And then we would add the Gmail settings. So I have it as superrails.com. You can have it as your website. 
And here again, you see the username and password are not uh, hidden, they're not secret. So you would definitely want to make them secret. And for this, you would want to use Rails credentials. So again, go in to editor, Vim Rails credentials, edit. Okay, I will remove this credentials file, remove the master file and edit the credentials once again. And here I would add the uh, uh, Google SMTP SMTP, but not TP. And here I would say uh, email. And here it would be my email address or any email address that I'm using for sending outbound emails. And here in the password, I would have this uh, special password. Okay, now I press escape and a bit saving, and uh, I want to dig into these credentials. So how do I get these credentials? I will say something like uh, rails.application.credentials, uh, something like that. So rails.application.credentials.dig, and it would be gmail smtp, then it would be username. Now again, I forgot uh, the variables that I used. So it was email and password. Yeah. Email. And here I will use Rails application credentials dig password. Okay, let's just check if it works in the console. I will copy this. I will exit this file. I will start the Rails console. Try to grab it. Okay, Gmail SMTP password is nil. I did something wrong. Let's once again go to the credentials file. So, oh, it is Google SMTP in my case. Here we have Google. And here. And now it should work. So I call Google SMTP password and it works and Google SMTP email and it works. Okay, so now our credentials are hidden and we are safe to save our changes and push to production. But let's have a look once again. So we have our SMTP settings and if we look into action mailer, we might want to add a couple of more settings. So like raised delivery errors in production. So let's go to find uh, action mailer. Raised delivery errors, and we will set it to true. Okay, so config action mailer raised delivery errors is set to true. Then here we have delivery method SMTP. Action mailer default URL options will be our production email, or our production uh, host, so our domain. Here we have hidden our credentials, looks good. And just one more setting that we will add is perform deliveries. So we will ensure that we want to actually deliver the emails. And here we will also say config action mailer, perform deliveries true. Okay, so looks quite good. Now let's save our changes. I will actually say git remote v and you see now on Heroku I have another application configured. So the application will be not superrails.com but it will be superrails emails.herukuapp.com and now I will save the changes and push to Heroku and see if it works there. Okay, so I have pushed to Heroku. Let me open this address and see if I can get an email. Now I will log out, I will create another account So I want the emails to be delivered to this account where I will check. So I sign in, I sign out, I forgot my password, I get my email, I try to deliver and boom, I get another error. Let's see. Actually, I know what the error is. I didn't uh, tell 
Heroku my master key. So here I have my master key for the credentials and Heroku just cannot decrypt my credentials. So I will add the command Heroku config set Rails master key. And I will set the Heroku Rails master key to the master key that I've got here. So I run the command and it must work now. I will resend the form and hope that it will work. Now Heroku might need some time to grab it all. So we should have possibly also written Heroku restart, but let's just wait and see if it delivers. We can also check the logs. Oh, actually, yeah, it says the email has been sent and you see we don't get an error. So let's go to my Gmail address and see if we have received the email. And here it is, reset password instructions. Now, if I go to the link, it brings me to our Heroku application. So basically it works. And this is how you set up Gmail for sending emails in production. Now, Gmail has some limits and it is not the best service to use on a commercial scale, but it is good enough for tiny applications. So I hope you liked the video and have a nice day.